Shabbat Shalom. This coming Shabbat, we begin the fifth and final book of the Torah as we read Parshat Devarim, the opening of the book of Deuteronomy. In it, Moses addresses the people uh, in Moab just as the next generation under the leadership of Joshua is about to enter the promised land. This is a time for both retrospection as well as introspection. The entire book of Deuteronomy is a retelling of much of what preceded it in the Torah. In fact, the very name Deuteronomy has come to mean second telling or second law based on the interpretation of the phrase in the Mishnah Torah. Throughout Deuteronomy, Moses relays to the current generation the story of their people. Like a parent sending their child off to camp, they want to make sure that they have the tools to be successful. This includes knowing the mistakes of the previous generations so that they can learn that with great power and opportunity to do good, there is also great responsibility. There's an irony. Because the entire book of the Torah belongs to the very same Moses who cried to God in the beginning of the book of Exodus, Please, O God, I have never, never been a man of words. Moses was a stutterer, a man of slow speech, now 40 years later in the last month of his life as the amazing odyssey across the desert comes to an end. Moses has become a man of many words. He has grown into a wise and insightful speaker. It is only as his own death looms on the horizon and with the glorious record of accomplishment behind him that Moses gains the confidence to offer his own, his own words. Devarim is also read on the Shabbat prior to Tisha B'Av, the ninth day of the Hebrew month of Av, the saddest day in Jewish history. This Shabbat is also called Shabbat Hazon, the Sabbath of vision. And it's the beginning of our long, long season of repentance. We end Tisha B'Av with the book of Lamentations, Echa, with the famous line, Turn us, O Lord, to you and we shall return, renew our days as of old. May we embrace the mission to return both individually and communally. May we find the words to make a difference. And may we use our vision to see the world with new and inquiring eyes for both retrospection as well as introspection. Shabbat Shalom.